Hello everyone, this is Sean from Expert Mechanics at 727 Kipling Avenue, Etobicoke, Ontario. Uh, postal code here is uh, M8Z5G4 and the phone number here is 416-201-8600. Um, we have this 2017 Mercedes here. Uh, it's a GL, uh, sorry, it's a CL, uh, GLC 300, GLC 300. Anyways, uh, at 60,000 kilometers, it was giving a quote for vent valve being stuck uh, for the crankcase, crankcase vent valve. So, the, uh, to open that, you have to open up all this, the computer here, um, this duct here, there's a pipe coming all the way along here, goes all the way down here. There's normally a diaphragm uh, right over here, and Mercedes superseded this with removing that diaphragm from it. So last year, this car came in, we replaced this part, put an original uh, Mercedes part in there, the Mercedes takes the old one back and then they refurbish it or whatever. And all they do is they take that diaphragm from there, it's like, a, like this kind of, box uh, down in there. So what I learned the trick is that I take it out, there's a diaphragm in there, it gets ruptured, I drill a hole across, make it a bypass, and then I put a cap back on and that works. However, uh, it came back, this one we had an original replacement all the way down, you have to take all the intake manifold out and the motor mount out and there's a separator by the block in the bottom. Uh, so I replaced that. The whole thing was replaced. Uh, a year went by, 30,000 kilometers later, the car is back, same code again. Uh, well, we had other issues too, uh, which is a different issue altogether. We're not going to talk about that. But this code has come back. It's, uh, I think, a P052E71 or something. Um, but the definition is that the vent valve for crankcase is... Uh, shut or closed. So what it does, it has another component to it. So the rest of them are just a tube. So there's nothing really goes wrong with that. And I was puzzled that why is it giving this code, uh, even though we have the superseded part number in there, and that diaphragm and the, the valve there is eliminated. Well, turns out there's a little, um, like a purge valve that goes, uh, you have to remove the computer here, of course, to get to it. And the purge valve it, it goes uh, from that oil separator right down from where the motor mount is. Uh, it comes out with a little tube and it comes up here and then it plugs into um, a wire like this in here. Um, it sticks into the side here and then it, in the bottom of the uh, throttle here there's a, a little hose inlet and it plugs into that. And that's like a PCV valve basically, but more sophisticated. So it's a one way, it's not a one way valve, it's a, it's a doorway which uh, engages and disengages with electrical mag magnetic uh, field. Um, so sometimes they will have uh, oil in that plug and when they have the oil in the plug, then you know it's no good. So I took the valve out uh, from the replacement part, the newer part, and I went to the battery and I give energize it, it goes click, click, click. But when I'm blowing through it, it blows all the time. So it's supposed to be normally open. And when you energize it, it's supposed to shut. Uh, but when I was energizing it, it was, I could still blow through it with my, my mouth. That means uh, the valve is not sealing properly. So I washed it with the brake cleaner and car cleaner and all that and rinsed it off and cleaned it and a lot of oil came out of it and it still didn't do a trick. So I went back to Mercedes, the Mercedes said that this part is under warranty for two years. But the problem is they will have to check it, they will have to confirm that this is the problem, and then they will do it with the labor. Uh, but my client is frustrated, she needs the car, and has been here for a couple of days, and she's without the car. So I asked them if they have another old part that's going back as a refurbish, uh, for refurbishment, for, for uh, rebuilding, 
and I would take the valve out of that one and try it in this one. So they gave me, uh, they were nice enough to give me that at least, and I took an old part, I brought it over, I tested it, it was full of oil, but I cleaned it, washed it, and then I checked it with the battery, energized it, and when I energized it, the difference between that one and the one I had in there, the defective one, is uh, the, the good one, when you energize it, it shuts the valve completely. So when I'm blowing through it, it uh, no, no air will go through. Uh, so when the computer wants to shut it down, it will shut down. Or before, the computer will shut it down and the air was still flowing through. And that was throwing the code and it was driving us crazy. It's a bad part, it's a bad design, Mercedes couldn't figure it out. If there's some Chinese manufacturer out there, Dorman or anybody, can improve on this part and they don't, you don't have to go through all the labor to replace the whole damn thing. It's like a big snake with a, lots of legs and wings and bells and whistle, whistles. All you have to do is replace that little purge valve, but it's normally open and then when it's energized, it stays shut. That is a, the procedure of it. Uh, so I'm going to go to the battery uh, where I have the two valves. I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so I have the two valves here. Um, this is the one that was supposed to be a good one, replaced last year and didn't even last a year. Uh, it was probably never been replaced uh, when they refurbished it, uh, whatever. Then I got this one from Mercedes this morning from one of these old part, uh, going back as a return. And I took this one out of it. And I found out it was full of oil, which is not supposed to be full of oil. So it's still not good. However, it does shut down when you energize it. That one did not shut down. So basically what I do is, is you see how I have a, a, a alligator clip in there and I touch one of the terminal. Uh, you can't really see in there, but I put it on the side and then very carefully I will get a um, another wire I'm doing it's a one man show here today my helpers are busy so basically I got another wire and attached it and uh, Billy can you come over here and do the video while I yeah. I'm demonstrating this one come on this side Okay, so what basically what I do is I get the second wire like this. Uh, this one is already touching one of the terminal. Very carefully insert the wire in without touching the this one because this is negative, this is positive. It doesn't matter which direction as long as one negative, one positive goes in there. And when you touch it in there, you see that there's a click, 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 click. So it, it will be clicking, but you got to make sure you can blow through it. So you see when I'm blowing through con continuously and as I energize it, it stops. You can hear the hissing stops. Otherwise it just blows through. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now this is the bad one. I'm going to demonstrate that too, so that way you, you know what to look for. If you can blow through it all the time, including when it's energized, then it's not good. So this is the bad one. So you see, you can hear the hissing sound. Ouch. You got to watch out for that short. You got to very carefully. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, one second. Hang on, let me just make a better contact here. Something just happened and it's not even clicking anymore. It used to click by not shutting down the, the valve. Okay, there you go.
So even when it clicks, it tries to shut down the, the, the flap inside, it does not shut down. The seal is, is no good in it. That one is shutting down. So I, I bet you that's gonna fix my problem. And this is, this is the issue with the Mercedes. If uh, some Chinese company can come up with a better design, it will beat the Mercedes by their quality. It's a cheap quality part, always goes bad. And if you can get away with this, you will solve the problem. But the problem is they're selling the $800 refurbished part and it doesn't even work. Um, so, so thumbs down for the Mercedes. It's a shame on them for, for, you know, for Mercedes brand that they make shitty quality like this. So uh, if you have any issue with this kind of problem, you can come to us. Uh, we're in Etobicoke, Ontario. And phone number here is 416-201-8600. Thanks for watching and have a good day.